Is it a rock fall? Maybe. Dude, that's a rock fall. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Dude, I'm recording too. All right, everybody. Jason with Haggard Wilderness here with my buddy Melvin. We're going uh, ice fish winter camping up here in the Uenas. All right, we're just uh, pulling the sleds here through the campground area. Hoping to meet up with the lake a little farther down here. We're gonna try to get a spot in the woods that's discreet and away from where all the people are at. All right, we're in the soft stuff now. We'll be looking for a camp here. Started to pack down a little pad, tent pad with the shovel. We don't have snowshoes, so I would usually do it with that. But we should be all right. We got camp all set up, sat, drink a beer, and we're getting ready to go hit the ice. We're gonna uh, hoof it that direction. I'm gonna leave the big camera here and rock the GoPro with the chest mount and just, uh, yeah, go poke some holes, hang out, out down there a while, get a feel of the situation, and then come back to camp for a while, eat some lunch, maybe dinner, whatever, and then head back down to the ice later, hopefully after a bunch of the crowd leaves but so far so good pretty deep in in the shadows here up to the knees Ooh. Whew. tired already oh It's falling down. Nine feet. Nine feet. <gasps> Dude. I that's what that guy was catching them fish on that video, ten feet. All right, we've been out here for maybe 45 minutes or something, an hour. Tons of bites, lots of action, but just haven't been able to get anything to stay on or get hooked in. Go back to camp, start a big fire warm up, come back out a little closer toward dark. We'll poke some more holes in the <clears throat> ice, maybe in a couple spots or I think once most of these people go tonight, we'll be able to use some of their holes and explore around a little bit, but yeah, good times. All right, first fish. Little trout. He was hitting mine pretty hard if it was the same fish. My bait's all the way to the hole now. All right, we were just packing up. Got another one on. I uh, was watching the tickle stick or whatever the hell it is. We got a couple fish to cook now, that's awesome. Oh shit, don't you dare. <laughs> Sack. Cut him up here in a second. There's camp. Excited to get a fire going, eat some food.
Getting us a good one for some dead pine needles. Get the fire going. Good to know there will be fish guts in the camp too. <laughs> <laughs> Bears are sleeping maybe, huh? Put one more here. We'll save a couple cubes for the outside. If you can grab both the fish and the butter, I'll like sprinkle this on it. All right, Melvin brought the butter and the seasonings. We got butter all tucked in them things. I'm gonna cook them up, it's gonna be dope. Dude, this far I could bring a chainsaw, dude. <laughs> The 18 volt or whatever, the 20 volt. I got that one too, but that would be perfect, really. Look at that. Ah, there you go, dude. That's perfect. <laughs> No, I think we could go a little longer. Sun's gonna set soon. It's right there right now. It's gonna hit that part of Bald Mountain. That's Bald Mountain. We'll lose light pretty quick. I'll start getting headlamp and fishing gear out and we'll head back down to the lake. We're checking the fish here. I'm I'm betting we're good. We were pretty close earlier. Let's take a look at this. Oh, butter juices and I think that's it. Mmm. breaking down the chairs packing up to go back down to the lake here before it gets dark do some later evening into the night fishing hopefully catch some stuff oh I'm so tired already That last light beaming on those mountains behind us here. I think that's Hayden there. Then the sun is behind Bald and whatever that other one is. Got another one on. We, we've been sitting here for what, five minutes? It's pretty hot in here. It's getting hot in here. So put on all your jigs. Yeah, he swallowed that one pretty good. Oh, no. Pretty fish. Let's get back in there. Oh yeah, he's out. Oh, 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 that's the worst.
caught that guy while I was dropping line, dude. Like, they're hungry. Oh. Is it a rock ball? Maybe. Dude, that's a rock ball. <gasps> Dude, there's fish all over watching. What? Dude, I'm tripping out about the... I'm recording too. Wow, dude, that was that was worth writing home over, dude. <laughs> oh. Dude, they're hitting. We're in it already, dude. Nice. Woo! Ice is popping. Things are happening. Like, is that thunder? What the hell is that? There's no way that's a motor. It's a giant freaking rock fall over on that mountain. And the whole time Melvin's getting bites. We got, it's, we've been down here for 10 minutes and it's already crazy down here. Nice. Something happened. All trapped around that. Uh. Alright guys, craziest thing, I just caught a fish that had a different line. Look, a swivel and a leader and a treble hook on it and his throat parts on the treble hook i don't i don't know if he'll make it he swam away but that is not ours like we have line directly to just a lure look my lure is right there in the in the ice so i caught this fish by somebody else's line that's probably from summer or spring that's crazy. I've never done that before. That is so weird. And that fish was living with this line and this hook like in him. And he was still swimming around and eating. It's dropped. Temperature has dropped hard. I'd be curious what it is. It's probably 20. 20. It feels about 20. All right, hoofing it off the ice. Make our way back to camp. Now we're in the woods, the deep snow. Oh. Oh. It's a slog. to it, then we can set both of our things in the coals on our grates. We can build the fire a little further back, we'll just scoot it all back and then we'll scrape all the coals and set both our grates so yeah. we just got coal heat instead of fire. Alright folks. We're cooking our uh, vegetables right now. I gotta filter some water into this smart water bottle so I know I have enough tonight. I've been keeping the Sawyer squeeze in my inside pocket so it's nice and warm. My uh, quadruple wrapped it. <laughs> dude, that is quad dude, that's how I wrap it, bro. All right, Melvin's already got his steak on. It's looking so good. I'm gonna 
put mine on here. I'm gonna take my potatoes off. I bet they're I bet they're cooked, done and ready. Set them down here. Oh yeah. Flip the steak. Oh, dude. Oh, ha, ha. I'm gonna grab my. <laughs> God. Yeah. I'm gonna grab my potatoes. Pull them over here and see how they are. Oh. Yep. So perfect. Yum. So tender. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. All right, ladies and gents. It's a uh, Getting ready to be bedtime. Melvin started to crawl in his tent. We're pretty, we're pretty worn out. We played pretty hard today. Well, good morning, everybody. It's about seven o'clock. Beautiful view out the back vestibule door. Sitting here drinking my coffee, still in the sleeping bag. Um, slept really good. Stayed very warm. I ended up boiling some water and put in that smart water bottle and putting it in my sleeping bag and it really warmed me up. I was pretty cold when I got in. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna drink this coffee and look at this view for a minute. And then I'll get up and get moving and see if Melvin's going. He'll probably be going anytime now if he's not already up. Hauling out of here. Have a little bit of uphill to struggle through initially and then downhill from there. So appreciate you guys joining me overall. A really awesome break in winter camp. Oh, anyway, all right. I'm gonna quit talking and get going here. Anyway, Haggard's out. Peace out.